In 1958, an engineering professor at Cornell named Bill Gordon came up with an audacious proposal. He knew that the Pentagon wanted to build a 1,000-foot-wide telescope to study the upper atmosphere as part of its ballistic missile program. Gordon suggested building the massive telescope's curved reflector right inside one of the sinkholes. The Pentagon loved the idea, and soon Puerto Rico was home to the world's largest single aperture radio telescope. It was named the Arecibo Observatory, after the town of Arecibo nearby. What makes the Karst region a perfect location for this facility is that it lies close to the equator, which means scientists here have a clear view of all the planets in the solar system. The reflector is made up of 40,000 thin aluminum panels that can be adjusted individually to provide the receiver above with precision data. The receiver is suspended on cables strung from three giant support towers. Today, the Arecibo Observatory is operated by Cornell University and the National Science Foundation. Researchers from around the world come here to study pulsars and planets and even to search for signs of extraterrestrial life. Today, workers ride an aerial tramway to get to the receiver. It's suspended more than 400 feet above the reflector and provides a spectacular view of one of Puerto Rico's most unique places, a modern scientific facility wedged into a primordial landscape. <laughs>